Hello, and welcome to another episode of LP. As you can tell, the quality's not as good, and that's because it's the actual cartridge. Today, I'm going to show you another feature after the Elite Four. You might be wondering, why am I in the contest hall? You might be wondering, well, why the heck is there a crowd around this person? The answer is simple. He is called the, uh, Blend... The Blend Master. He makes perfect poke blocks. So, yes, we know how incredible it is. You do know how to make bears. Well, of course we do. Fine. Let's get started then. All together with the Blend Master. Let's berry blender. It's kind of weird, but. So, anyway, you choose your berry. Hmm, it doesn't matter what berry. Let's go for the peach berry. He puts a watermelon. in. That's his secret. He uses the rare berry lady berries. I'm just gonna let the berry master do his thing. See, look at that. Perfect. Never misses. That's fast. One hundred and fifty nine. RPM. That's fast. 24 seconds. So we got a level 57 feel 45 poke block. Now, what happens if you? So we know. So we know that he uses those berries. The five berries he uses are the Pampshire, Splowin. Wapmail, those five. Um, the other three I do have, they're just planted. Anyway, but what happens if I put a Splowin Berry in? He puts a Tomato Berry in. If you put a Pampshire in, 
he'll put a cornberry in. If you put a um watermelon in, he'll put a magus in. Oops. I messed it up, didn't I? That was fast. A level 58 gold polka block. 58, mind you. With 48 feel. No. Anyway, well, that's the berry master. Let's see what these guys have to say about. What an expert! Wickedly fast. Wow. Awesome. They're speechless. Eyes that track the arrow with machine-like intensity. A hand that taps the A button with clockwork-like precision. P possessing these qualities makes the Blend Master truly great. The Blend Master is supposed to... His skills deep in the mountains. Sometimes he comes to Holy Cove and blend berries all day long. When I blended with the master, we made amazing polka blocks. Indeed, I am. I am the blend master, I am. Blend with me and you shall witness the mastery I bring to blending. That's for sure. Now. Let's go feed these polka blocks to somebody, shall we? Bag. Now remember, you can have up to 40 polka blocks. Polka block case. You. Oh yes. This one right here, the level 99. This polka block I obtained by blending the uh, Salic Berry with the Berry Master. But anyway, using that new one we just got, we're gonna give it to Swallow. See, he gets extra excited. He happily ate the polka block. That's a lot. Look at that. That is a... That's a whole lot. And those are all the polka blocks I've made today. Gold, 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 level 57. Anyway. That's the Poke Block Master. Now, there's something else. There's more things you can do. Anyway, go on here. I've shown you these bases before, but after you beat the Elite Four, something else you can do. So we've got some bases right here. We've got three bases. Today. We'll tackle my bro Sapphire. This is... Do, 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 do. Now, this isn't the original base. I redecorated it a, a bit. But anyway... Bases. The Registry. These are all the bases that... The way the Registry works is when you mix records... 
you'll get um if somebody mixes records with um things you have registered, they'll get all the when you mix records, they get everything in your registry. Yeah. So there's a reason why there's all these bases is because they're old files. They were just saved in the registry and so now these these crumbable ornaments this the fence I will there is a way to obtain that um I will show you that when well when we've gotten it we haven't gotten to it yet so anyway this is my brother's sapphire base commercial break no such thing as a commercial break. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, and now. Have you made a secret base? I went here and there everywhere before choosing this. Yes. So, it's going to require you to save your game. And, it automatically saves, and then, you get to battle. The way this works is the, ba the, the team you battle is the team you had in the party when you mixed records with that person. Or, with, and, then the registry. So, this is my true bro sapphire team. What I faced in the tournament was just a little snippet of it. It wasn't the full force team. Now I face the full base team and see if I can actually beat it. So. Okay, now the thing about secret base battles is, yes, you get experience. Also, the Pokemon you, you battle is recorded in the Pokedex as seen, or whatever. But, do not worry if you lose. If you lose, you do not lose money. I repeat, you do not lose money. So that's always a plus. So it's just a battle for fun. Okay, basically, it's like... I, and if you win, you do get money. But if you lose, it's like just like a link battle. You don't gain or lose anything. And set title. Fly gone, oh boy. Now, yes, his icon was not. Anyway, let's detect. And it's gonna fly up in the air. But I can use detect. And it failed. Oh gosh. Bye bye, Septile. Oh! Ponage! He missed! I know the quality's not good, but I can't show this battle on the emulator because it's. Shell bell. Sand tomb, huh? Uh. 
Hey, Celio crew. A ride on. Uh, oh, his ride on. Urgh. Not bad, we've taken out half of his true team that's very hard to beat. I look as um Now some of these Pokemon you may not have seen in the tournament that I that you saw on Adam Tukwesi's channel that he even used because That Alakazam went a lot down faster than a lot fast. And then he's got a Sableye. Now you'll notice that the Matang is not in this battle because that's not part of his original team. I just it was used in the tournament because it was the only ones that pretty much fit the level restrictions. And I'm confused. Oh no, I'm confused. I think it's time I show off the yo oh, crud a critical hit. But see, there's the yellow flute. Snaps out confusion, the blue flute, and the red flute. But I still have a few full restores left over. Secret power, yes. This is the Sableye that he uses to make his uh, bases. Okay, what's next, Sean? Yes, my brother's name's not Sean, but that's because he bought the game used and he felt lazy and didn't want to... What's next? Of course, the mascot of his game, the Kyogre. <sighs> it's okay. Level 71. It's like we're, we're facing the Ki we're facing suicidal Kyogre again, except this time we have to kill it. Except, oh, like a boss, you're so strong, Sceptile. You're only at level 58. But he trained somewhat on this game. But, right next, the base right next door to this is my original Sapphire file. And that. I didn't do any training on that. He trained that fully. Um, this looks like a job full. Sparky! No, but I did nickname it Sparky. Um, on an older file. Oh yeah, the thing with the bases. Yeah. Um. It will not have the nicknames that you nicknamed it, and also, all the shinies will be normal sprites. In fact, I will show you what, what we mean when we face uh, my friend Adam's base. He, he has a shiny Mudchamp, but when you face it in the base, it won't be shiny. Anyway. See you, Joseph Alvin! Oh my goodness, folks! Celio's evolved for real now. And yes, this is the actual cartridge.
things. I finally beat my bro Sapphire team. Anyway, right next door. This is my original Sapphire. My brother designed the space. I can't change the base at all because the file doesn't exist anymore. And also, 8-Ring Studios is barring my Sapphire version anyway. For his Let's Play. Anyway, next time on Pokemon Emerald, we will face my original Sapphire file. Fully trained by my brother. Until then, bye bye